About a year ago I have published the video about RFID tenancy system made with ESP8266. In meanwhile I have received several requests to make a tutorial about that system, so I decide to make one, but this time instead of ESP8266 I will use ESP32, and for data storage I have used MySQL database. Everything else will stay the same like in old system, so let's go and see what is under the hood. System is made up out of three main parts, server, electronics and client. Each of these parts has its own GitHub repository and all code is open source. Server has been written in Node.js and for storaging data use MySQL database. Note it that you need to have installed Node.js, MySQL and Git on your PC. Open folder where you want to clone the server. Open command prompt and navigate to this folder. Clone the server GitHub repository. As always, all commands used in this video will be available in description below. Inside of DB folder of repo you can find database which you need to import to your MySQL server. After importing database, go and open config.js and write down correct MySQL configuration. Go back to command prompt and navigate inside of server folder. Run npm install to download necessary node dependencies. With command ipconfig check what is IP address of your PC. In my case IP address of my PC is 192.168.0.105 That will be address of the server as well. Run npm start and now Node.js server has been successfully started. Port of server is configurable and it is located in config.js file. I have left default port 8181. Server contains two handlers. One is HTTP and other is WebSocket handler. I will talk more about these handlers later and for now let's clone the electronics we attend repo.
card exists in database and when the user apply that card to module, like we say, ESP will send serial number to the server. Server will then create new log in database for that card and broadcast logged event to all clients through the permanent WebSocket channels. Let's clone the last repository, repo of the client. When cloning process is done, open config.js and write down correct IP address of the server. Let's start the client by opening the index.html file. Like you have saw, when the client is started, tags and logs will be automatically loaded and the WebSocket channel will be established with the server. That is all. If you like this video and if you want to support me, please subscribe, share and like this video. Till the next time, see ya!